Okay, this is the first attempt at making the uh, six plate five cell hydrogen oxygen generator. We're going to generate oxygen and hydrogen from water, making a simple electrolyzer. I'll show you some of the parts that we'll be using. Okay, here we have just a regular Schedule 40. Uh, Schedule 80 CPVC is the best if you can find it, but for these purposes, I'm going to go with the Schedule 40. This is 4 inch. This is a T with a clean out. And we've got a plugged uh, insert or cap that go on either end. And here we've got a little plug that's going to plug up this part here. We'll use that to access. And also what we're going to use is um, we're going to use six of these little stainless steel electrical box covers. Uh, they work quite nicely. And what I've done is I've taken and I've drilled out on one side here. I've drilled out a uh, hole big enough to to fit a little plastic spacer so we can insulate each plate from the other, so we can insulate the negative side from the positive side. And um, if you can't find any little spacers like that, what I ran across is um, these tie wraps. Let me get one out here. I ran across these tie wraps that have the neat little hole in the end of them and uh, they're not very expensive they come in a pack of about a hundred and so I just took some snips and clipped off the little hole end and I still have a good usable tie wrap so good all the way around and what we've done we've taken a couple of brass screws and we've started assembling this uh, electrode here you can see how I've got one end insulated from the other side and basically what we're going to do, we just alternate back and forth from the positive to the negative. So basically our plates will go on with the large hole on one end and then the next plate will be the opposite. So one plate will be isolated from the other by using the little plastic inserts. Okay, I'm going to pause right here while I put this plate together and we'll resume later on. Okay, you can see I've got all of the cells assembled together. Went ahead and uh, cut the bolts off. You can see where I've cut the bolts off to proper length, so we'll, that's where our wires will be attached. When this thing is assembled, it'll be just like that. Okay, the next step we're going to check our continuity, make sure that uh, that we don't have anything shortened out on us. So I've already done this. So from here to here, from the negative side to the positive side, it should be reading an open leg. And then it should be reading good conductivity on every other plate from your uh, conductor here. So from your conductor, from this conductor to here, to the second plate, should read, uh, um, should have a good ohm reading. And from there to there, and from there to there also. All the plates that are connected together. See if I can, can show an ohm reading here. Now this is going to be from um, just going to do from this plate here to the uh, second plate and show what a good ohm reading should look like. Okay, I'm trying to do this with one hand. That's a good ohm reading. We're getting, showing a little bit of resistance there. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to stop the tape and go on to the next phase. Okay, during this next stage, we have taken one of our plugs and we've drilled and tapped a hole for a quarter inch pipe thread. We can put our little, uh, a little barb fitting. This little fitting this little guy here. We're going to put that in there. That'll be our tube where our gas is going to come out. And we've also put in our electrodes so we can hook up to our electrode inside the unit and still keep it airtight. You notice that I put uh, nuts and washers. I put silicone uh, between the washer and the surface of the plug as you can see right here. And um, 
and we tighten that down, we should, uh, after it cures, we should get us a nice airtight seal so we can uh, build a little pressure. Okay, here we have our cap assembled. Notice that I left some nuts there to uh, attach our electrodes to. Okay, tighten them up. Use stainless steel washers, top or stainless steel nuts, top and bottom, so I can get it nice and snug. Be a really good airtight seal. And I'll put my uh, barb fitting in. We're ready for the next step. Okay, here we're putting the the body of the electrolyzer together here. Uh, make sure you use primer. We're using a of course PVC. Make sure you use primer and put everything together really well because uh, it's really essential that you get a really good airtight seal because this thing is going to build a little pressure. Uh, if it leaks, uh, it's essentially useless. Okay, now we have our, our wires connected to our cell. We went ahead and checked the ends with the ohmmeter and uh, from positive to negative it's showing an open leg which is exactly what we want because our dielectric is uh, our electrolyte is what's going to complete the circuit and we went ahead and uh, assembled our our housing here now we're going to fill it up with water and uh, give it a test see if it works Okay, now we've taken the, the housing and we've filled it up with water enough, uh, more than enough to cover up our uh, cell here. We've got our cell all hooked up. We're going to drop it down. Drop it down in the water. We've got our uh, power hooked up. And make sure it's not touching anything and I've just, just, um, have this hooked up to a uh, uh, to an old um, power supply for an old laptop. It's no good anymore. Puts out uh, about 16 volts, uh, less than an amp, maybe close to one amp, um, which is uh, good enough for testing purposes. But when I get ready to uh, start generating some serious hydrogen, then I want to uh, use a battery charger. We use about 10 amps on a battery charger with 12 volts. Now we're going to go ahead and plug in the power supply. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, as you can see, the bubbles are forming on the top. It seems to be working pretty well. Okay. And that's just with regular tap water. Didn't add anything to it, just regular tap water. Okay, now we've got our leads hooked up to our cell. Now we're going to put it together. Okay. Got it all together. Gonna screw on the top. Connect the hose. And see what happens. Okay, here we can see we're all hooked up. Got a tube running up to a little bubbler here. You can see that uh, generating a pretty good amount of hydrogen there. A nice steady flow. Uh, go ahead and show that we do have hydrogen. And there you have it. Okay, now we're hooked up to a battery charger. And uh, we're running it at 12 volts at 2 amps. It looks like we've got a pretty good hydrogen production here. I'm going to go ahead and pop the bubbles. And here's the rate with 12 volts at 15 amps. This is the rate, 12 volts at 100 amps. 